Yo, 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 this is Lord doing another video, and this is going to be episode 5 of our package push of fire. And, well, today I'll be talking about a couple superstars. Um, from WWE, I'll be talking about Mason Ryan. From TNA, I'll be talking about Mark Haskins. Number three, I'll be talking about Andy Ridge and Kyle O'Reilly. And, and from FCW, I'll be talking about The Ascension. Connor O'Brien and Kenneth Cameron. Let's just jump straight to it. Mason Ryan. Now, Mason Ryan, you know, there was this thing where they was going to give him the bodyguard role um, for with Dolph Ziggler. But now look like changing it. Plans done. Plans changed, and you know, they look like they're gonna put him with AW, have AW be his manager, which is not a bad idea at all. You know, if you ask me, um, Mason Ryan with this, I'll push Mason Ryan. Mason Ryan deserves a push when it comes to this, and um, this guy, you know, Mason Ryan, he can do some good things, you know. And AW can do some good things for him. Because Mason Ryan may not know how to cut a heel promo or a face promo. And that's what AW is. He's a slick talker. Slick talker or a good talker. I mean, he's a cool guy. So, I mean, he'll get him over with the fans. No matter what he, you know, his character is going to be. So, Mason Ryan deserves a push. Now, I ain't saying the World Silverweight Championship or nothing like that. We're right for right now, but you know, maybe a little run at the United States Championship or the Intercontinental Championship, it wouldn't hurt. So, yeah, Mason Ryan, push him. <sighs> TNA, Mark Haskins. Mark Haskins, this guy has not been used only for a couple of reasons. Well, maybe one, one basic, one big reason why TNA has not used this guy. This guy boxes a whole lot. And let me tell you something, TNA. I will fire this guy. You know why? Because this guy is one fucking shooting star press from killing himself. I'm so serious, TNA. You, you do not want to recreate a Owen Hart incident. Not to joke around with it because I'm not joking around with it. I'm so serious right now when I'm saying this. Mark Haskins... If he keeps on botching these things, he is going to kill himself. He's going to kill himself. And I'm pretty sure TNA doesn't want that. And I'm pretty sure that Dixie doesn't want to fire him. But if you do nothing with him, and your budget, you know, and all that stuff, you have to cut down, he's going to have to get fired sooner or later anyways. So, TNA, I would repackage this guy and have him not do that. But, you know, some officials disagree and agree and agree to disagree and disagree to agree and all that stuff. So, that would cause confusion. And, you know, Haskins would be released or anything like that. So, Tina, if I were you, I would fire this guy. I'm not saying that he's a bad wrestler, but he's, he's, he's good. But when he was in that live show in England, he just cut a moonsault. His face just, I mean, his face is sticking out like that. And when he hit the mat, his face just like, like as he as he already killed himself already. And I don't want to see anything like that on television. I'm telling you right now, I had to see Owen on television like that. I don't want to see anything like that on television. So Mark Haskins, man, I'll I'll fire this guy. Well, I won't see it malicious like that. I'll release him. So that's. Andy Ridge, nah, ROH is not doing anything with this guy. This guy, to me, he looks like he can go. So why not do this? And this pertains to Kyle O'Reilly, too. Kyle O'Reilly, this guy, I like his attitude. Andy Ridge, I like his attitude, too. Why don't you put these two guys together in a tag team and push them? And push them at a run for those tag titles. Repackage. I guess you can consider that a repackage. He's slapping two guys together, repackaging one's attitude, have him have a cocky attitude, have him study underneath Davey Richards still, and there you have it, yeah, and you know, have them go to run with ROH titles, that'd be pretty good, that would not be bad at all, not a bad idea at all, 
Now, the Ascension. The yeah, Ascension. I like all both of these guys. Some people don't like Conor O'Brien. Some people think he should stick to the Rat Man gimmick because they don't take him with this Ascension gimmick seriously. But Conor O'Brien, he plays his role pretty good. I mean, all of that damn park when he, he just beats the hell out of his opponent. And it's just like, this one part, and, and you know, they just get loud outside the ring. Well, you know, Conor, uh, Kenneth Cameron gets loud now. Because, you know, there's no more Epico and there's no more Raquel with them anymore. So, it's Kenneth Cameron and them running the Ascension show. And um, it just starts yelling and pounding on the ring. And then Ken, uh, uh, Conor O'Brien just jumps in the air out of nowhere and just bounces off the mat. And bounces his own, just throws his own self onto the mat and bounces up. And just like, hits a finisher out of nowhere. <laughs> like that. That gets me pumped up and boosted up. And Kenneth Cameron... This guy's pretty good in the ring now. He's he's no one of those guys that, that that's he. I mean he's he's silver dollar potential. Well, not silver dollar. He can be gold gold dollar potential. Or well, both of these guys, if you know WWE can make us find a way to forget about what Conor O'Brien in the past with the Ratman gimmick, which I've pretty much forgotten about about the Ratman gimmick. Um, but yeah, I mean. WWE, get these guys, have them debut on NXT, build them up as a tag team even more. They have them on the main roster. And, I mean, push these guys. I'll push them. Conor O'Brien and Kenneth Cameron. I like these guys. Well, guys, this is it for this week or today's edition of the Package Push of Fire. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um... Oh, just keep them coming. I just noticed that uh, my video from last week got more views than usual. So, keep it coming. Keep it coming. I do appreciate it. And thank you guys for, you know, watching. And one thing I'd like to say. Peace. Arr